Hi guys, and we are a week into the craziness that the world is currently going through. Um, this is my third video uh, in this series, and the aim of these videos really is to kind of create tips and advice that you guys can hopefully take away and help in your businesses uh, at the moment. So we've done one on email marketing to, to kind of keep in communication with your clients. We did one on creation of a website um, or part of your website where you could keep people updated on what was going on in your business when it comes to this and just make sure people know that you, you are still going, um, assuming you are. Um, and the third one today, I just wanted to focus on this, which is video. So I'm not gonna have time in this video to tell you how to do everything you need to do with video because it's a long, uh, a long thing to, to do, It'd take a lot of time, right? Um, but uh, so I see my job really to, to try and enthuse you um, into thinking about video and why you should be using it. Um, there's gonna be a lot of people at home, both uh, from a personal and a business perspective, that are gonna have time to go and look things up. Uh, and the, I don't know if you know this, but YouTube is, is the second largest search engine in the world. So if you can create videos uh, from your business, which help show some of the things you do, maybe talk about the services, the benefits like we're doing here, um, product uh, information, virtual tours, all of this kind of stuff. If you can start to create this type of content, create your own YouTube channel, and which is all free, um, and then start to upload this content fairly regularly, you are gonna get in front of people. Now you might need to use your social media presence to push that out, or other marketing efforts, or email marketing for example, um, but the sooner you get going, the better. And this is really the kind of main, main purpose of this video, is to try to get you thinking about this now really. Um, and don't worry about it, it doesn't need to be perfect. And I just wanted to share with you a couple of things, because I've been doing this for years now, and I've learned a lot of tips in that time which um, hopefully will be will be useful so this video here is being shot on uh, an SLR camera uh, it's a Canon 70d and it cost me about five six hundred quid so it's a, it's a lot of money right but I, I invested in that because I knew I was going to do more and more of these videos um, but equally I could have shot this video on my phone and here is me shooting this video on my phone. And look, the quality is pretty good, you know? In fact, it's very good. Um, I don't have the, maybe the ability to play with very technical stuff like white balances and all sorts of things like that, but this is awesome, right? So the, the, the only challenge I think with phones is that, you know, it does wobble a little bit. Sometimes you've got, if you're gonna maybe use this, use a tripod um, to get the best out of it. But I'm gonna go back to the camera now, my preference. So there you go, the, that was me shooting uh, a video quickly on the phone just to show you kind of the difference and um, the quality is, is definitely there these days. Um, what I would say if you're going to shoot on an SLR camera then one of the key factors there is to make sure you get a decent microphone. So I'm using the Rode microphone, R-O-D-E, uh, which is a little fluffy thing that sits on top of the camera and it just plugs into the jack at the back and it just does a really awesome job of, of capturing the audio. Um, the trouble is if you don't do that you get a little bit tinny. So I'm just going to try and show you how that works when you get a bit tinny by unplugging it now. So now I'm working off it without the Rode microphone and there is obviously a very big difference. Microphone back in, <coughs> job done. So yeah, what you wanna do is like create as sort of short clips really as possible. People aren't gonna watch for minutes and minutes. This is gonna be a longer video just because it's taking time to talk through a number of things. But you know, really you're probably only aiming for like a couple of minute bursts if you can. Um, you then need to have some sort of editing suite. Um, with a Mac, which is what I use, I get iMovie as part of the operating suite, it's free. Um, I don't actually use Windows very often, so I don't know, there must be equivalents with Windows that you can use as well. If anyone knows, drop it in the uh, comments below. Um, but really, you just need something really basic that you can quickly take the mic, the card out of the camera, put it into your computer, load it up into something like iMovie. You simply copy that into a movie file, and then you just chop the ends off. And if you've made any mistakes, you can quickly chop and chase. But again, don't worry about it being perfect. There are transitions and things like that that you can do if you want to get a bit cleverer. But at this stage, really, what we're at is about trying to get content out there that helps our customers and clients. So don't worry about getting it perfect. I think there's a theme there. Um, so yeah, the, as I said, to go back to the beginning of this, and the theme of my videos has always 
really been about communication and this is just another form of it but we're all going to have to get very used to being in front of cameras over the next few months um, with video conferencing and calls and stuff like that so take it to the next level start to think about how you can um, help your customers and clients by uh, giving them answers to the questions that they have um, which you know the answers to and your products or services might solve because you know this isn't necessarily a time to sell 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 but it's a time to educate it's a time to help others and in doing that people will buy so i hope that's useful uh, i'll be back again in probably a few days time so until then see you next time